Welcome to this week's edition of Cactus and Rings. I'm your host, Haley Smilo. On this podcast, we are tying together the namesakes, Cactus and Rings. Cactus will represent the Arizona part of this podcast, and Rings will represent the Olympics. On this podcast, we're going to be talking about Olympians, Olympic coaches, and retired Olympians who either went or go to Arizona schools, are from Arizona, or have made Arizona their home base. Today, we're going to be talking about ASU's coaches. Five out of 23 of ASU's head coaches have some sort of tie to the Olympics. So let's start it off with ASU's track and field coach, Corey Leslie. In 2017, Leslie joined the ASU staff. But before he was a coach, he was a runner at Ohio State. In his college days, Leslie earned a top spot on the USA Olympic trial team. Leslie tried out for the 2012 London Games, and although he was expected to make it, he finished in ninth place. But he was motivated to keep trying. In 2016, he once again made the trial team and improved his positioning and finished in eighth place. Whether or not Leslie is likely to compete in the Tokyo Olympics is still a question up for debate, but my guess is he'll at least try. Moving from the racetrack to the pool, it's time to talk about perhaps one of the most famous Olympic coaches in history, Bob Bowman. If you're an ASU or USA Swim fan, this man's name should bring fireworks to your mind. Because of all his Olympic success, Bowman was added to ASU's staff in 2015, but he still makes time for the Olympics. Bowman never competed in an Olympic game himself, but he still has enough gold medals to go around. Bowman was a coach at the North Baltimore Aquatic Club, where he met Michael Phelps. Phelps and Bowman's relationship blossomed from there, and Phelps named Bowman his personal coach. For all of Phelps' successes from 2001 to 2003, Bowman was named the USA Coach of the Year, but he still wasn't on the Olympic roster. In 2004, he was added to the Olympic team's coaching staff and has never looked back. 2016 was a bittersweet year for Bowman because he became Team USA's head coach, but he also had to watch Michael Phelps retire. The question of whether or not Bowman is going to the Tokyo Olympics has a likely answer of yes, because he's still on USA's coaching staff. But, as it's sports, anything could happen. Staying in the pool, we move on to the sport of diving, where coach Mark Bradshaw has made a name for himself. Before he arrived at ASU in 1997, Bradshaw competed in the 1988 Olympic Games for Team USA. Bradshaw was able to pick up a 5th place finish and has not competed in an Olympic Games since, but he did take on a head coaching responsibility for Team Finland in the 2004 and 2008 Summer Games. Out of the water and onto the mats, it's time to look at wrestling coach Zeke Jones. In 1991, Jones competed in the Olympic Games and was able to bring home a silver medal. Although he never competed against again, he was on Team USA's coaching staff for the 1996, 2000, 2004, and 2012 games. As a coach, he added a total of six medals to his collection. In 2014, he was hired to ASU's coaching staff as the head coach and has since won back-to-back Pac-12 titles for the team. For the final ASU coach, We're looking at a sport that doesn't have a traditional field of play. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about triathlon, and I'm talking about Coach Cliff English. English has coached in four Olympic Games and was Hunter Kemper's personal coach for two of the games. English was able to help Kemper reach a high seventh place in his career. In 2015, he arrived at ASU, and to no surprise, has helped the team lift four championships. That wraps up just five of Arizona's Olympic stories, and it barely scratches the surface. 
If you enjoy listening to this episode, it would really help me out if you could leave a like and you're feeling up to a challenge, subscribe. If you want more of my content, be sure to follow my other social medias. The links are in the description. Also in the description are music and picture credits. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. And once again, thank you for listening.